Hey, okay, I'm Kay Bolin. I live at 234 Railroad Avenue here in Historic Loveland. My husband Tim and I own Whistle Stop Clayworks, a business also located in the city of Loveland. So I'm speaking as a resident, a business owner, a longtime advocate for our community, and I have some real concerns with this new special events policy's effect on our community, as you can gather from this evening. And this amendment to the um, application fee, it's worse than it was before. It doesn't apply to everyone. It's just not fair. And as you can see, our community, we support each other. So that's one of the things that has always made Loveland such a unique and awesome place to live in, is the support of the community with each other. I'd like to read a portion of a message that I received from a friend the other day who currently lives in Cincinnati. Quote, my wife Deb and I continue to look in Loveland for a home and a studio. I keep hearing that taxes are high, and now this. Would love your opinion, end quote. For the first time in 25 years, I actually hesitated before answering a question in regards to recommending and feeling optimistic about my own community's future. I respect the jobs that each of you hold, as I know it can't be easy, but this one, it should be a no-brainer. Look, everyone here is helping you with your decision this evening. I mean, if you took a vote right now and asked everybody in this room for their vote on this issue, the majority, the minority, you would have your answer right then, and we could move forward with this. It's not too late. We can all move forward, and we can live up to the name of our community, and we keep Loveland a place where we all want to continue to call home for ourselves and for our businesses. Uh, just one last note, we've all been speaking, but I don't know if it's been brought up, that there is a sense of urgency on this because you have organizations, all of them, the Loveland Arts Council, the Amazing Race, every event organizer here. We have to have time to, make, to choose new locations, different charities, everything that's going to involve. So there is a sense of urgency that we do appreciate you all considering. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Uh, Tim, Tim O'Grady, uh, 234 Railroad.